What's up, party people? I'm an Easy B. We're, We're Dance Patrol in the place to be. We got Angel. Yeah. And he's on the one. Oh, I'm a up rock and breaker just to having fun. And introducing Loose Bruce. A, a King Tuck Popper with a lot of juice. I said I'll rock you high and then I'll swing it down low. Keep your moons rocking like a rodeo to show. Zip zap it in and then phase it out. I said, oh, your buckaroos, let me hear you shout. Zip zap it in. Zip, Zip zap, zap it in. in. And now phase it out. 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 We're dance patrol and we gotta go to make your break dance both young and old. We got the moves, the groove, and the funky fresh beat. We even got the songs to rock you out your seat. So if you're ready, are you ready? Everybody say ready, break dancing. We're gonna show everybody how to become chilly break dancers by teaching fresh dance styles and simple easy steps. Word up. We're gonna teach you how to do the wave, the pop, the king tut, the lock. And if that's not enough, we'll show you how to up rock and break. We'll be using the serious hip hop music to show how it's done. So get ready, fly guys and all you fly girls, cause Dance Patrol is gonna do it to the max. This is break dancing. All, all right. right, all right, yeah. all right. On this record, you'll learn the three main styles of break dancing. They are the electric boogie, up rock, and break in. We'll give you the pointers and suggestions of what to keep in mind when you do the different dance styles and moves. And then you just follow the easy step-by-step -step diagrams on the record sleeve and do it to the music. We're going to start off with the electric boogie. The electric boogie is the style of street dancing that is actual dancing. So you've got to really know how to jam with the beat. The first electric boogie move we'll do is the king tut. The King Tut is dancing like an ancient Egyptian. It was taken from Bugs Bunny cartoons and from the dance that the comedian Steve Martin used to do when he sang his hit song called King Tut a couple of years ago. When you're doing the King Tut, try to use your whole body. Rotate your shoulders, move your arms, get your head into it. Make sure that your tuts are tight and you snap them hard. A sure way to become good at the King Tut is to practice by looking in the mirror while you're listening to some chill music. For the top pops, here's Malcolm McLaurin and one of the freshest hip-hop hits, Buffalo Gals.
around the outside. Uh-huh. Two buffalo boys go around the outside, round the outside, round the outside. Uh-huh. Three buffalo boys go around the outside. Buffalo boys go around the outside, round the outside, round the outside. Four buffalo boys go around the outside and don't see go your partners. The wave is the style of electric boogie where you give the illusion of a wave going through your body. Remember, the wave isn't a position, it's a way of moving. You've got to flow with the music, not snap the way you did in the King Tut. Keep your fingers together and your thumb tucked in. When the wave passes through your shoulder, you can roll your arm, hands, and fingers to get a more wavy effect. Practice your movements in a mirror until it really looks like a wave is passing through the different parts of your body. Then let the wave go through you in what looks like one motion. If you can feel the wave move in you, then you've got it. It helps to think of yourself as water. Let the wave go through you. Be careful not to let your wave get sloppy. If you're ready to start waving, let's bust it out with Herbie Hancock and rock it.
When you do the pop, you're making believe that your body is made up of a lot of popcorn kernels and a popper. But you control the popping. You pop a certain part of your body by tensing the muscles in that part of the body. Check it out. If you want to pop your shoulder, tense all your arm and shoulder muscles. Then give a slight jerk to your wrist and elbow. Really concentrate on popping the shoulder muscle. When you do a good shoulder pop, the rest of your arm won't move. The pop shows most in your shoulders, but if you work at it, you can pop all parts of your body. So remember, to be a good popper, the key is learning how to isolate the parts of your body and to pop them. The pop is very characteristic of the electric boogie. Because of the popping nature of breakdance music, your boogie will be fresh if you can pop with all your moves. It's as if the music were popping you. All right, party people in the place to be, it's time for the big throwdown with Lisa Lisa and Cult Jam. <laughs> is a dancing laugh. It's an electric boogie way to have fun and be a real entertainer. Locking got started in California in the early 70s and is getting more popular with street dancers around the entire country. The lock is comedy, and to do it well, you need to act in a fun and funny way. Be real loose when you lock, but make your locks tight and quick. Also, remember to pause between your moves. This is called locking your move because you do a move and lock it in place and then make another move and lock it in place. Locking should be done fast to up-tempo music with a strong beat. Keep your head up looking at the crowd when you lock because locking is a style where you work with the audience. 
Let's get to some serious locking with George Krantz and his funky fresh tune, Din Dada. Eins, zwei, eins, zwei, eins, 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 Learn the king tuck, the wave, the pop, and the lock. You know that if you don't use your arms and hands when you do the electric boogie, your dancing will be whack. If you learn to use your arms and hands in the different dance styles, it's time to make some arm and hand motions that mix in all of the styles that we've worked on so far. A good way to practice is to do some routines sitting down. Do a couple of tucks, some pops, a two-arm wave, and a few locks. Do some hand routines. That is, do some moves where you're using your hands separately from your arms, remembering to keep your hands extended, fingers together, and thumbs tucked in. Do these arm and hand exercises to music. Make sure all your moves are clean and sharp. Don't mush your moves. Think of yourself as an oiled machine clicking into position with the beat of the drum. This little exercise should give you the feeling of dancing with your arms and hands. Now, while you're sitting down, see how much dancing you can do with just your head, neck, and shoulders. Let's try the arm and hand exercises by throwing down with Run DMC, and it's like that.